Hello students, let us continue the session on revision in the chapter circles. In the previous session, we had discussed till question 8. The question 9 is, if two tangents inclined at an angle 60 degree are drawn to a circle of radius 3 cm, then the length of each tangent is equal to, let us draw the suitable figure for that, we have a circle and two tangents they are inclining an angle 60 degree so if you join this point external point P and the center O then we will be having the angle APO equal to 30 degrees so with respect to this 30 degree I can consider tan 30 degree this will be equal to OA upon PA. So this implies that 1 upon root 3 will be equal to 3 by PA. Hence the PA length will be equal to 3 root 3. So 3 root 3 centimeter option D is the right answer. The question comes here. Why did I consider this to be 30 degrees? If you observe the triangle here. It's a triangle PAO. In this triangle, we know that radius is perpendicular to the tangent. Angle OAP will be 90 degree. At the same time, in this triangle also, the angle OB P is 90 degree. We know that these two sides are equal and this is a common side for both the triangles. Triangles will be congruent hence these two angles are equal. So each one of them is 30 which makes an included angle to be 60 degree. Therefore I have taken the trigonometric ratio with respect to 30 degrees. With the help of that, we got the length of the tangent. Question number 10 in the figure 9.8. If PQR is tangent to a circle at Q whose center is O, AB is a card parallel to PR, angle BQ r equal to 70 degree then the angle a q b is equal to so we need to find the angle a q b this angle to be found now they have mentioned that a b is parallel to p q r this implies that angle B will be equal to angle BQR this will be equal to 70 degrees because they form alternate angles as PQR and OQ they are the tangent OQ is a radius, it will be a perpendicular. So, this angle will become equal to 90 minus 70, which is 20 degree. Angle OQB will be equal to 20 degree. And as I said, it's a radius. And some length is added over here. This is a common side for both the triangles. Can we make use of any criteria for congruency so that we can find the angle AQB? Will this be equal to 20 degree? Let's see. If I name this point to be M.
can i say that om is making a 90 degree since this is parallel ab is parallel to pqr this particular line is making 90 degree over here so this will be 90 degree isn't it so angle amq will be equal to angle bmq both will be equal to 90 degrees so we have got a right angle and one of the side now one more thing is required for proving them as congruent to each other what can be used we all know that perpendicular from center to the chord bisects the chord so we have am will be equal to mb so this is one side and right angle is second and we have qm equal to qm it's a third from these three i have a sa criteria and i can say that triangle amq is congruent to triangle bmq since the triangles are congruent to each other the angle o m sorry o q a also will be equal to 20 degrees now angle a q b is the combination of angle a q o plus angle b q o both are 20 degrees each 20 plus 20 which is 40 degree hence this verifies option b is a right answer let us move on to the exercise 9.2 these are the questions which are related to true or false and we need to justify the answer the first one here is if a card ab subtends an angle of 60 degree at the center of a circle then angle between the tangents at a and b is also 60 degree let's draw the graph sorry let's draw a figure res with respect to the statement here the angle formed is 60 degree over here so ab is subtending an angle 60 degree at the center ap and oa they are perpendicular to each other since radius is perpendicular to the tangent since radius is perpendicular to tangent we have angle oap equal to 90 degree at the same time we also have angle obp this will be 90 degree now you just observe the quadrilateral in quadrilateral APBO we have got angle O plus angle A plus angle P plus angle B equal to 360 degrees we have angle O as 90, 60 degree angle A is 90 plus angle P plus 90 degree equal to 360 degrees so angle P can be found this will be 360 minus the sum 90 plus 90 plus 60 is 240 let's find the difference angle p will be 120 degree so the statement angle between a and b is 60 degree is a false statement this statement is false because the angle obtained is 120 degree now the second statement the length of tangent from an external point on a circle is always greater than the radius of the circle let me take a figure for representing this statement you observe the figure carefully p 
is an external point to a circle away from the center o now draw tangent pa on the circle pa is a tangent since we all know that radius is perpendicular to the tangent angle i have mentioned as 90 degrees it's very clear that the length of the tangent pa will be greater than the radius because point p is external to the circle so the distance pa will be always greater than the radius this is one case in the other case if the point p is somewhere near to the circle p1 i have considered the length of p1a will be less than the radius so sometimes when the point is very close to the circle the distance of that point to the circle will be smaller than the radius so this given statement it is false because it depends on the external point it depends on the external point if the external point is very far off from the center then tangent will be larger than the radius in case if it is very close to the circle then the tangent will be smaller than the radius now the third statement the length of tangent from external point p on a circle with center o is always less than op let me consider a figure in which p is external point center is o let me name this point of contact as t here pt and ot they are perpendicular to each other angle otp will be 90 degrees since angle otp is 90 degree we can look at these two angles angle o and angle t angle t will be angle larger than angle o because in a right angle triangle right angle will be larger because right angle is larger than other two angles since we all have learned in class 9 that the side which is opposite to the greater angle is larger now the side opposite to angle t is po it is larger than pt this is one way we can communicate or else in a right angle triangle hypotenuse is the largest side po will be the hypotenuse it is larger than pt so this particular statement is a true statement let's look at the fourth statement the angle between two tangents to a circle may be 0 degrees look at this figure now i have taken two tangents such that these tangents are opposite to each other we have oq perpendicular to cd and op perpendicular to ab this angle 1 which is there is 90 degree 
angle 2 is also 90 degrees so both of them are equal to 90 degrees and these two angles they are alternate angles alternate angles this implies this AB is parallel to CD and these are parallel tangents now the angle between the tangents to a circle may be zero so this given statement is a true statement statement number five if angle between two tangents are drawn from a point P to a circle of radius A then OP is equal to A root 2 this is the full question we need to state whether it's true statement or a false statement for that you can observe if the angle between them is 90 degree in the one of the question we have discussed these two angles will be equal to each other they are 45 each since the triangle of PTO is congruent to the triangle PRO by ASA criteria sorry SAS criteria because these two sides are equal to each other it's a common side and the angle is 90 degree yes a yes sorry this is the side which we have need to consider so yes a yes criteria since the angle formed is 90 degree sorry 45 degree in this triangle smaller triangle I can consider the sine of angle 45 degrees sine 45 is opposite side by hypotenuse OT upon OP so I can find the length of OP as OT divided by sine 45 OT the length is the radius and I have mentioned it as A and this will be 1 by root 2 so I get A times root 2 so the length of OP is A times root 2. So this particular statement is a true statement. With this question I'll end today's session. We shall take a few more questions in the next session. Thank you.